finally we have a now playing overlay for our streams that actually works. No big delay, no redoing the whole setup for every stream and it works for both Spotify and YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the video nerd and I'm super excited because in this video we will be setting up everything that's needed to show your currently playing Spotify or YouTube song which is a highly requested feature. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and sometimes Friday so if you want to talk to me on stream just click on my Twitch link in the description and go follow me so you can catch me when I'm live. And a big thanks to Own.TV for sponsoring this video. If you are looking for professional stream graphics, the guys at Own have the best overlay packs in the industry, hands down. All of their graphic packs are animated and they can be installed in just a few clicks using their quick import file. They have full streaming packages but also separate elements like webcam borders, twitch panels, sub emotes, sub badges, stinger transitions and much more. All their packs are fully customizable and they have an amazing previewer on their website that lets you test how things will look while streaming. They are on another level, if you need graphics for your stream you should definitely check out their website and if you use my code TVN you get 50% off and I think it will become 40% really soon so if you're thinking about getting an overlay I suggest you don't wait. I will link them in the description, own.tv check them out. So since this video is for both Spotify and YouTube and because I'm going to explain some extra things for managing your music on stream, I will add timestamps on the screen right here so you can skip to the method you want to use. And if the timestamp feature of YouTube is working, you will also see separate parts in the play bar right here on the bottom so you can skip to the part you want to see. The first part of the tutorial is the same for both YouTube and Spotify so let's do that first. Go to last.fm sell your soul to the devil by clicking on accept all at the bottom. <laughs> just kidding it's 2020 privacy doesn't mean shit anymore. And then on top just click on join and make an account. Choose a username fill out all the other information and then click on create my account. Now check your email, look for an email with last.fm in the subject line and then click on the link inside to confirm your email address. Now click continue to use last.fm and what you do next depends on what you're using to play your music. Last.fm is a tool that will track what song you're playing and then we will use another tool to actually display that song on your stream. Now the tracking part with last.fm is what's different for YouTube and and Spotify. Displaying the song on stream with the other tool afterwards, that will be the same for both services. We will do Spotify first though, if you're using YouTube to play your music, then go to this time in the video. So to link Spotify to last.fm, click on your profile icon on top and then go to settings. On the top, click on applications and next to Spotify scrubbling, click on connect. Now log in with your Spotify account, free or premium, that doesn't matter. And then you'll have connected your account to last.fm. So now the songs that you play on Spotify are linked to your last.fm username, which you can see while hovering on your profile icon. To actually show the song that you're playing on Spotify on stream, skip to this time in the video. Next, we will link YouTube to last.fm. So scroll to the bottom of the page and then click on track my music. Then click on YouTube and after that click on more info. The first blue link here will be for Google Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Edge etc. And the second one is for Firefox. Safari is not supported so you will need to download Google Chrome or something like that. So choose the one you want, click on the link, I will take Google Chrome. So let's click on this link and that will bring us to the download page of the web scrubbler extension. Now install that and then on the page that opens, as far as I know, you don't need to allow this but I will click allow just to make sure everything will work. Now scrubbler will not be showing in the extension bar at the top so let's click on the puzzle piece icon and then pin the web scrubbler extension. Then after that we still need to log in with our last.fm account so this extension is recognizing our song but it's not linked to our account yet so click on accounts and under last.fm click on sign in. It will bring you to the last.fm website and you will still be logged in right here so the only thing you need to do is click on yes allow access. Now when you go to YouTube and you play a song or you refresh the page if one was playing already, you should see that the extension is actually recognizing the song that you're playing. 
So right now there are two important things to do. First of all, there's an annoying pop-up from Google Chrome that pops up on the bottom right of your screen once a new song is being played and we need to disable that. Right click on the scrubble extension and go to the settings. Click on options and then uncheck use now playing notifications. And that's it. Now every song that you're playing on YouTube will be linked to your last.fm username which you can find by hovering your profile icon on the top right of the last.fm page. Okay, so now it's time to show the songs that we are tracking on our stream. By the way, if you're having any problems while following this video or if you have any questions about live streaming, our community discord is the best place to get help with your stream or just to talk about streaming with community members, so you should definitely consider joining us, the link to my discord server is in the description. So now to show our songs on our stream, let's go to a website called pixelchat.tv. You need to log in with a Twitch account, but don't worry, this can be used on YouTube and other streaming websites too. Just click login with Twitch, enter your username and password, click on login and then click on authorize. Now click on agree and then on the left click on overlays. Click create new overlay and then look for the now playing widget. Click it and then click on the edit pencil icon. Now overlay title and overlay description, this doesn't really matter so you don't really need to change this. On the right you should see a preview and before going over to the settings, let's link our account. So on the bottom you should enter your last.fm username. If you don't know what it is, go to the last.fm page and on the top right click on your profile icon and then you will see your username right there. And then by entering your username right here at the bottom, this will grab the currently playing song and after refreshing the page and waiting a few seconds, it should be shown in the preview widget on the right. Now of course you need to make sure that a song is playing on Spotify or YouTube, so if you're not seeing right here, make sure that that is the case. Then the most important setting right here is the theme. Large is what you're seeing right now on the right, but most people will be using small since that looks way more clean and sleek or whatever you want to call it. And let me know in the comments which one you're choosing. I think people will use the small one, but maybe you're not. So comment down below which one you're using and why, because I'm really curious for that. Then the background tint color, this will not change the album cover at all. It will just change the overlay color of the right part. According to me, dark grey definitely looks the best, but of course, choose what you want right here. Then text color and font face, these will, you guessed it, change the color of the text and the font that's being displayed. Pretty straightforward, but corner radius, that's a very important one. Moving this to the right or to the left will allow you to completely change the look of this pop-up. Command to trigger pop-up, this will be usable in your chat as long as you're streaming on Twitch, but you can use this now playing widget on other streaming websites too. Just know that then the command will not work. Length of pop-up, this is also an important one and this will determine how long the overlay stays on the screen after showing a newly played song. If you enable this stay open all the time, then the length of the pop-up won't matter, but if you disable it, then this number will be the amount of seconds the pop-up shows after switching songs. When you're all done setting up the widget, you can click on this button on top and that will show up in new tab. Copy the URL on top, go to your streaming program, whether it's OBS or Streamlabs OBS, add a new source, choose browser source, give it a name, add the source and then paste the URL right here. Now click on done and if you can't see the widget, go back to the Pixel Chat website, make sure you enable open all the time and then go back to the streaming program so you can reposition the widget. And now something very important, which music you're playing on your stream is something you should definitely think through since you're absolutely putting your channel at risk when blasting copyrighted music. I will put a link to an article with a list of copyright free music sources in the description, but most of them are not free. However, there is one amazing source of music that's created pretty recently and it's absolutely fine to play all these songs on stream and that's Stream Beats from Harris Heller. 
I'm mentioning this a lot in my videos, but it's just because it is actually good music and it's completely free. He earns revenue from people playing his songs on Spotify and Apple Music, etc. So that's why he can pay people to create music and then just make it available for free. So if you want actually good chill music without having to worry about a copyright strike, then Streambeats is the way to go. I will link it in the description. And hey, if you like these songs and you want to do me a favor, go to Twitter and tweet to at Harris Heller that the video told you about stream beats that would be epic but let's go over to the final topic for this video i think we can all agree that most streams are pretty boring without any music however some streamers prefer not to hear their own music because they want to focus on their game and hear footsteps etc if that's you, then I have an easy fix for you. You just need to install a simple program called Virtual Cable. I will put the link in the description, so click on that, download the program and then install it. There might be a chance that you need to restart your PC for it to work, but most of the time you don't need to, so let's just continue. First of all, go to your advanced Windows sound settings by right clicking on the Windows sound icon, clicking on open sound settings and then clicking on app volume and device preferences at the bottom. Make sure that your music is actually playing right now and then what you want to do depends on the service that you're using for your music. If you use Spotify like me, then that's what you need to look for right here on the left. Are you using YouTube? Then you should look for the browser in which YouTube is opened, but do it with a different browser than the one that's playing my YouTube video right now, because otherwise when we change the settings, you will not hear me anymore. So once you found the program that's playing your music, change the output from default to cable input. If you did it right, you will not hear your music anymore right now because it's being sent to this virtual cable, which actually acts as a real cable, it's just not physical. So now go to your streaming program, whether it's OBS or Streamlabs OBS, and then click on the settings icon. Now go to the sound tab and here you will need to add a new microphone. The mic one source will probably be your own microphone, so let's take the second microphone source open the drop down and then click on cable output. So now what's happening is your music program, which is Spotify for me, is sending your music to the input of this virtual cable and then the output of that cable is connected to your streaming program. As a result of that, we can now see our music playing as a separate source in Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio and this allows us to control the volume right here instead of in our music program but it also allows us to mute the music for yourself or to make sure that both you and your stream are hearing the music. Now for that we need to go to the advanced audio settings. In Streamlabs OBS you go there by clicking on this settings icon and in OBS Studio you need to click on the settings icon next to one of your sources, doesn't matter which one, and then choose advanced audio properties. Now you should look for the audio source we just added and in OBS Studio this will be called Mic Aux 2 and in Streamlabs OBS it will be called Cable Output. So once you've found the source, change the audio monitoring mode from monitor off to monitor and output. Now you will be able to hear your music again, so this is the setting you need to change to swap between hearing it yourself or only your stream hearing your music. So when you change this back to monitor off, then only your stream will be able to hear your music. So which of these two types of people are you? Do you want to hear your music while streaming or do you only want your stream to hear it? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch because I stream every Monday, Wednesday and sometimes Friday. So if you want to talk to me on stream, then find my Twitch link in the description or look at it right here on the screen and give me a follow to catch me live. I would love it if you would come and say hi. If I helped you today, then please like this video to return the favor as it boosts my ranking tremendously. Any questions or just want to say hi, leave a comment down below or join my Discord server like many of my viewers have already done, since that's the best place to get answers to all your questions. I post behind the scenes of making these type of videos and growing my channel on my Instagram, so consider following me there if you want at the Video Nerd YouTube. If you want to learn more about streaming than either my OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS playlist will definitely contain something you will be interested in. So thanks for watching and I will see you in one of these playlists. Have a nice day.